Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. So today we will discuss some DevOps interview questions for banking uh, projects. So basically, uh, earlier my project that I was in in my previous organization that was not for banking or it was just for automation and AI. So uh, when I came as switch and I am uh, like. Uh, going to work in this project and it is a it is a banking project then there the difference in the requirement is uh, basically that I am seeing is regarding security that how they want their environment to be secure the pipelines to be secure and they want security to be implemented so when I was go when I like uh, I have uh, so I have just uh, collected the questions for it uh, the security questions uh, basically the DevOps questions uh, which can be mostly asked if you are if they are uh, you know interviewing you for a banking project so let's go first question is how would you implement infrastructure as code while meeting compliance standards like TCI, DSS or SOX? So basically this is for payment card industry data security standard and SOX is like uh, there is an ad according to which we have to comply our infrastructure. Basically it is used for banking sectors only. So uh, how will you implement it basically we can do the security scans and all this PCI compliance check during the pipeline so I would suggest try this out uh, try to find the answer of this of all these questions today tomorrow I will discuss the answers for this so next is how do you manage secret securely across environments where will you keep it that is very simple that we have walls cloud provided walls man secret manager hashikov vault is there in uh you know uh, we can secure or we can even do it in github uh we can uh, m uh keep this uh uh, you know uh, the sensitive credentials in git ignore and uh, other methods so that you need to explain then what tools or practice practices do you use to ensure auditability and traceability in ci cd pipeline so if any issue occurs then how uh, you know you will trace back that issue that where it is how will you maintain it how the auditing and logging will be done so it so it is easy to resolve the issue what practices you will follow in ci cd like what ci cd pipeline would you design for a banking platform with multiple microservices how would you prevent unauthorized code changes or deployments in productions so basically you have to mention about the gate branching strategy how will you uh, strategize the branching strategy and how uh, you know how after every testing and all the deployment will go in production and how you will configure the uh, approvals and all then with CI CD tools do you prefer and why so Jenkins GitLab Azure DevOps for banking so everything you should answer keeping in mind banking how do you implement automated rollback strategies in CI CD pipelines then containers and infrastructure like how would you secure a docker image that handles sensitive financial transactions then what is the difference between horizontal and vertical scaling and when would you use either in banking apps then how uh, okay let me correct this and how do you handle zero downtime deployments kubernetes for critical financial systems so uh, you know uh, we have um, we know little bit answers for everything because we have read it but how to answer it in a way that will be beneficial for the banking project that we need to understand you have to answer it logically putting your points and you have to explain if even if like for this question how do you handle zero downtime deployments in QFR critical financial systems 
so there are different type of deployments like rolling then blue green canary deployment so keeping in mind everything your budget and zero downtime and you know uh, the criticality of the data you have to answer putting your points that we ca we can do uh, blue green deployment because uh, we if in case our green environment is not working after routing the traffic we can immediately switch to the blue uh, environment we have already like we have the instance up and running so there it can be zero downtime or you can say the canary deployment where the uh, data has been uh, routed in a little bit of percentages so that uh, you can tell uh, but yeah the complexity is there but how will you manage everything uh, after each complexity there will be a service mesh and everything you need to explain so you have to put your points putting a logical you know uh, discussion uh, by uh, putting that what can, what will be more good so that's all so that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye